You're not gonna have any older, honey. What the hell was going on? Blanco! I'm just setting the mood around this place. I got my cone head going. I have not rinsed this out. This That product is actually a leave-in product, but in order to style my natural hair, it does need to be wet. So I am going to wet my hair, which you might consider to be a rinse, but I'm not necessarily trying to rinse my hair. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that. The weather doesn't entice me to, to want to get dressed. It doesn't at all. It's enticing me to want to sleep. So I'm setting my mood, lighting my candles. You see that, how that motion sensor light came on? I love that. Granted, I'm in the kitchen a lot, so I have to charge them a lot. Hence my charging station right here. It just makes everything easier. I stand here and I do my stepper and all that stuff. So I'm always charging something right here. But yeah, I just go close and it turns on. So under the cabinets, it's not hardwired. So yes, yeah, it requires charging. And it's cute. You know, the wind is blowing that fire pit fire. That is sickening. And I need some more of the liquid that goes inside my everlasting candle glass holders. What do you call those things? I don't know. I'm groggy. <laughs> I woke up and then fell back to sleep again and woke up, took me to school, and now I want to go back to sleep. Oh, I'm making chai tea. Let me make another chai tea latte. I'm so into it now, especially since I can make it in a keto way. Use the frotha from my Nespresso machine. So just the frotha because it is separate. Let me show you. Should I show you? I mean, you may have seen it in the vlog, but maybe not. My hot water is already cooked. <laughs> it's already hot. I'm so annoyed. All right. And I use whatever milk I have. I mean, I have half and half right now. I can use heavy whipping cream, which I haven't bought in a while. I'm enjoying half and half, the looseness of it. And then a syrup. Yes, those syrups are there to be pretty. This is the one I actually use. Nini uses those too, but I like to just use these because I always have extra. They all can't fit inside the what you call it. And I do like it to be sweet. This is vanilla. I don't measure anything ever when I cook or make things. Sugar free, uh -huh. zero calories, zero sugar. Skinny syrup, you feel me? And then I froth this. So it's hot and foamy, you feel me? And you don't even need to put the cover on it. It'll be splashing places, but there's a cover for us. I don't know if there are differences. I'm just gonna use this. Whatever's whatever. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Yo, where did that even come from and why? Why did the person speak that way? A big amount. <laughs> a big amount, I'm annoyed. I want a large amount because I wanna stay warm, okay? So I'm using this big old thing, which is great because I did put a lot of milk in here, okay? And I I could stand to go with two tea bags. I need to re-up because I've been killing these chives every day. It smells so, ooh, it smells so good. All right, Avon. And you could, this could stand to sit. It could stand to sit, but I don't feel like waiting. So we're gonna just go ahead and look. My milk is already, my milk, my milk is already froth and, hey! Tongue twister. My milk is already frothed. Ha! Yo, the accent be doing a lot. The milk is already froth. Why do I feel like I'm rapping? I feel like when I speak, I sound like I'm rapping. Not rapping a gift, rapping bars. Bores, okay? Then you go ahead and you pour it. It's not gonna look aesthetically anything right now because this isn't a gray container. This is a PR container, Cool AF. Who's it from? Freck. Mm -hmm. Freck Beauty. Okay, we're going to just pour it up in here. Pour it up, pour it up. If it's in a clear container like you saw in my gallon, my gallon times video, it will look really pretty. And then you can decorate it with some cinnamon on top. For me, that's just for looks. I don't need the flavor. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And it looks prettier when the when the glass, when it's a clear glass. Let me know. Better fetches. Yeah, so no decorations, just like this. Dreaming like you lit up. Oh, I know Jesus is taking care of me. You're fine. I know you wanted to see the unboxing, 
and I filmed almost an hour of unboxing a lot of packages. It was filled with such detail, conversation, genuine reaction, awesome products like this from Andrea Iyama. And I was recording in S and Q. Lesson learned. I'll try again another time. Right now I have a cleaning company here. So many things happening. I just got my rice in. And I like to eat this rice. So I'm about to pour this into the container that goes inside the... I'm keeping this pantry very organized, by the way. I'm proud of myself. I just love how organized and neat everything is. So here is with the label. The labels are Amazon. This container is home goods, but I'll link I'll link them. I'll link a dupe below. And I just pour it in here because it looks nicer. It makes things easier when it comes to pouring it out and I'm cooking this. And what I do is put a clamp on this one and use that until it finishes and then I go into this one. My cleaning company is here to clean the couch. I like to do that once a year and it's time. So I'm refilling this right now. I they used all of it, which is fine because they had to come, they had to keep coming in and out of the house. But you just step your foot inside and then you have a foot, a foot cover on. Try not to break my nails. I just got this in the mail from Nest. So nice, I love that. Let me move this. Easy and very affordable way to clean your brushes and sponges. Just take an antibacterial so like this dial one right here and it gets everything out and kills the bacteria when i don't need my brushes right away i clean it with soap otherwise i use cinema secrets brush cleaner to clean it quickly and look how quickly this cleans the brushes If you have not cleaned your brushes in ages, now's the time, girl. Go grab them and let's do it together. Get you a bar of soap real cheap. The real cheap one works so well because it, it, it dries out everything. This is my contour brush, so it's more of a challenge to clean. sink gets stained so easily as you can see so I have to keep it clean I'm gonna use a Lysol wipe I mean I could spray with bleach but I have my nails on so I don't want to do that this area gets stained so easily because I'm always over here doing makeup you know powder and stuff like that the key is to keep the brushes off of off of the side of the sink somehow so that it can so the air can get to it. If it's on the counter, it's not gonna dry as fast. So there's a, a ridge right here. I just have it hanging off. And then it should be dry by mid-morning tomorrow. The big ones, of course, the more dense brushes will take longer to fully dry. And then this one will be wet on the bottom, so in the morning I'll turn it over, because you'll find that the, the water will 
It's not going to dry because it's on the counter. So I have to turn it. When I wash a whole basket of these, I have to turn it every now and then when I think about it because the bottom will not dry. And you want it to be fully dry so that no bacteria gets harvested. Good early morning. One of the things that I like to do when I wake up is hydrate right away because my neck and my chest get really dry. My face too, especially if I lay on my side of my face, which I do. <laughs> and good morning to these pimples. So first thing, I'm going to use this lotion to repair the moisture because I feel extremely dry. Overnight, our skin loses moisture anyway. That's just a hands-down guarantee. It's not about how we relax and go to bed. It's just inevitable. So I recently got this La Roche-Posay Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion that I think is good for eczema. So I lotion up my neck and chest because otherwise I'll be scratching like I have fleas. It's too much. And with these nails, I mean, I will be scratching my, scratching and welts into my skin. It's not good. If you have dry skin, you know what I mean. It just feels so uncomfortable. And that just feels good. Like I have welts on my skin from scratching it at night. <laughs> face in the morning because I need to replenish the hydration. I wash it after I work out because that's when I'm going to shower. Our skin loses so much moisture at night that I'm not going to get up and wash my face. Absolutely not. Clean my eyes, moisturize my skin, and I go from there. And all the excess should go on the hands because why not hydrate your hands and treat your hands too? That also shows signs of aging. Not that I'm trying to avoid aging, but I'm going to look good while I do it, you know? Fenty SPF moisturizer. I had this side of my hair flat iron because I did the U part the other day, but I changed my mind because it was raining outside. I just took the whole thing down, just clipped up. You know, I love smelling good in the crib, no matter where I'm going, I want to smell good. So I'm going to wear this Yara fragrance from Matata. I'll link it below. I'll link everything that I'm using below. Mm -hmm. Sweet, feminine, really pretty, very pretty. I think my flowers are here. Let me go, grab, let me go check the door. Oh, it's good. Yes, it is. Motion detected at front door. My flowers are here. I re-signed up for flowers because the whole thing, I just, I need the whole thing in here and I'm not getting that just with the candles. I also took the fire pit and put it outside. I used to have an issue with this company because I felt like the quality wasn't sustained with each order. 
I'm back, however, because I don't have another option. I have the highest, the largest bundle. This is charging, charging my, I have to continually charge these because I'm over here in the kitchen a lot. The batteries die. So I got the largest bundle. This is the motion sensor, what you call it. And I'm gonna set it up in a second. I'm working out though. I'm gonna set this up in a bit. I don't wanna lose my interest in my workout because when I'm not interested, uh oh, who's texting me? When I'm not interested, it just messes the whole thing up. I mean, I gotta do what I said I was gonna do. And then I gotta do my nails and then I gotta film. Can you imagine? I took my nails off because it was time. I like to do my nails once a week because I like the freshness. I like them to be fresh. And I don't do builder gel. So I noticed with this set that it bent. It bent yesterday a little bit. I was like, oh, oh not you bending. Obviously, if I had used builder gel, it would never bend because it's a lot harder, a lot thicker. But the builder gel, what was the issue with builder gel? Builder gel would be peeling, it'd be peeling. I just can't figure out how to do it without the peeling. It's annoying, it's annoying, it's annoying. So I just do the paint and I have, I have better, I have a better, I have a better outcome. Not the paint. <laughs> I have a better outcome when I just do the base and the top coat. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, well, let's finish this workout. Girl, 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 good morning. Listen, let me go and shower and then update you while I do my makeup. Yo, good morning. I even, <laughs> I just do this because to just acclimate my face to non-mask. I just used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro Gel Mask. This is a Neutrium Hyaluronic Acid Essence. I am so, okay. I really should reframe it because I have to speak faith. Okay. I'm overwhelmed right now, but I know that God is working. Let's put it that way. Because I, I, I could have went in a negative way and I don't want to do that. We have to speak faith. I'm having a very overwhelming day and let's talk about it. Because I really was contemplating, should I even come on and talk about it? But I know that it's important to be as transparent as possible, right? Because not everything is perfect. So I've been overwhelmed with preparations for New York Fashion Week. And this is my first time going, Ula Henriksen, Ben I, banana, whatever, eye cream. It's my first time going and I am a highly conscientious person. I like to prepare. I like to know what the hell I'm doing. I can be flexible. I do enjoy spontaneity. However, I do like to know what I'm doing, when and where and how. I love a plan. I love a color-coded calendar. I like things to be organized. So when it comes to New York Fashion Week, I have not been able to do all of that because I've been at the mercy of whatever the schedule is going to be. And I'm excited to go. I'm excited to go. It's my first time. And I know I was told that I needed to be flexible and I, I'm fine, right? <laughs> However, when this event is happening next week, it's like, damn, what is going on? So today I get notification that the dates that I was planning to go, which was Friday, this is the Skin Fix Triple Lipid Collagen Cream. I'll link everything below. Serum, excuse me. The dates that I was planning to go, already got my ticket, what, last month? Uh, already had the hotel solidified. I was gonna go Friday to Monday. And then today, uh, I get the schedule. And all the things that I need to be at are Wednesday to Friday. Wednesday to Friday? Which means, what, four days from now? What's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Five days from now. Now, fashion is not my main forte. I do what I can. I appreciate all the love. I love to dress. But makeup is my main forte. Skincare is my main forte. You feel me? So it's not like I have an archive of mad outfits that I could just throw together. You feel me? That's how I feel. Because I want to do it and do it right. So I'm just like, make sure my nose is not all wet. I don't know, wait, what? Not only do I have to scramble to change my flight, I have to wrap my mind around the fact that I have less days to prepare and that I'm leaving sooner than I expected. And all of that is extremely 
<laughs> extremely troublesome for me. Just categorically troublesome for me. So here I am this morning like, wait, what? What? Because the event on Wednesday starts at five something. So I need to be there early Wednesday. And then the last event is at nine on Friday. So I'm like, <sighs> so I changed my ticket and I forgot that I bought my ticket with points. So thankfully, <laughs> the new ticket was actually cheaper than my other ticket, which is so wild. So that happened. But then of course my assistant has to change her ticket. And I just, just in my mind, on my calendar with what I had planned, have to change everything. And that is upsetting for me. So I'm in the process of doing that. And then, like, I'm going way too slow because I'm talking so slowly. Fenty Hydro, what is this? You know what this is. Again, I'll link it both. I need to actually move a little faster because I have lunch with Nini today. And I need to prepare to go do that. That's And, and I was working out this morning. And... I was actually filming my workout and all this stuff. And then I was supposed to create content. Just all these things that just got pushed back because that just threw a wrench in everything. And I'm like, oh my God, my time is ticking. I did my cardio and my Sydney Cummins workout today at home. So that's an hour total. And it's just like, you know, oh my God, don't even tell me this. So I had to deal with that and it was very overwhelming. And I just bawled out crying, bawled out crying, hyperventilating the whole nine yards because I've been holding in tears from this morning at 7.30 a.m. when my new accountant contacted me because she needed my she needed my tax returns for the past two years. I never came on here and talked about this because I really just it's too much. It happened in Chris it happened around Christmas. It was already already hold on already an overwhelming time for me. I just could not fathom coming on here to say anything and of course I I just you know just not everything is now oh let me get the camera and come and say something but then that happened today and it sent me into a tailspin and I'm like it's a, it's all a snowball effect so my new accountant let me back up let me back up to give you context and I'm breathing because I need to breathe to keep my heart rate down and this is this is just a lot. So, and and if you're a business owner, this is important for you. And if you just like to have a salon, you're gonna get some knowledge from this too. So I had an accountant, and if you recall, I did a video where I talked about things that I've done in my business to elevate or something like that. And I talked about having an accountant and bookkeeper, or slash bookkeeper, right? And I thought that all was going well. I actually, I like referrals because I like to be able to go back to somebody and say, yo, what the hell? You know, you referred me to so-and-so, what's the deal? I don't like just anyone off the street. So she was a referral. So I had her for two years and then toward the, in the second year, the communication was just terrible. I was getting frustrated. I reach out to her like, hey, I messaged you so-and-so time ago. I get to hear back on X, Y, Z, what is going on? And then she'll get back to me whatever the hell she would. And we missed a few meetings. And I was paying her monthly. So it's like, what are you doing? And I'm trying to have grace. But, and she's a very sweet lady, sweet, soft-spoken. So I'm just trying to have grace. But nah, yo, it's just too much. So at one point, this was, I think, in June or July, last summer, I emailed her and I said, because of the, I forget what I said verbatim, but essentially because of the lack of communication and professionalism with even letting, making me aware of you not being available, and me not having X, Y, and Z, because I, I listed out stuff that you said would be done by now, has not been done. I said, because of all of this, I'd like to end our business relationship. Please let me know what needs to be done and when the final date, of final payment would be or whatever the case is. So I sent that to her and I hadn't heard back from her maybe like another month. Mind you, I'm still getting paid. I'm still being, not paid, I'm still paying her each month. And it's like, are you insane? I'm going to use Lumify because... My eyes look a little yellow. I've been crying. It's just too much. And you gotta double check your eye drops, girl. Don't put don't put lash glue on your eyes. Bless God. And this stuff be working. I don't use it often, but I tell myself I really should because this stuff is really freaking good. I mean, look, I just dropped it in my eyes and it already looks white. How is that possible? This stuff is good. So she gets back to me and she reveals that she's actually, she apologizes that the level of service that she began with, she couldn't sustain and that she's actually been sick. So I'm like, sick? So now I'm feeling bad. Like, dang, I was really, I, I mean, I sent her a strong message. I didn't, I wasn't nasty, but I was very direct because, and I was very strong. Like, this has not been done to my satisfaction. I'm un, I'm unhappy. That's what I mean by strong. 
So I'm just like, oh my God, you've been sick. What do you mean? What's going on? And this is, you know, I forget what she said, but she'd been in and out of the hospital and she'd been sick. And I'm like, oh dear God. So she said she's going to be pausing all of her clients and that my last day where she would be deducting my monthly payment would be XYZ day. So I'm like, okay, I really hope that you feel better. Are you going to resume after you feel better? Just let me know. Because I was thinking, well, dang, is she sick? I don't want to take away her income stream. I don't know how many clients she has, but I'm just thinking, damn, I don't want to take away her income stream. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to be nice, but I'm also extremely frustrated. This is the Laura Mercier waitlist, what you call it. And then my shade is clove. So she said something about circling back or something like that. And I said, okay. So I'm waiting on her to send me my copies of my tax returns. And uh, she said my payments would stop on X day. Payments never stopped. I got charged again the next month. And I'm like, hi, circling back to see, are you still going to continue accounting services? Because I see that I got charged on XYZ day. Not only that, I also have not received my the documents that you said you would give to me to close out the deal. So please advise on what is happening here. Because in that at that point, I was still open to working with her if she could do her job. And, and I've asked her before in the past, do you plan on getting an, account, an assistant? I know I need to, well, you never did. So she never responded to that. And girl, it was, I mean, this might've been August that I sent her that. Never heard from her again. Oh, this looks so dark. Crap. Never heard from her again. And I'm just like, wait, what? So I won't lie. I've been just too busy and overwhelmed to even think about my bookkeeping that I just I just left it. And I, I, I was putting out feelers to see if there are any if anyone could recommend an accountant to me. But of course, I am hesitant because I trusted this lady and I just feel like she threw me just threw me out with the threw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, are you crazy? You just left me out there. I mean, I know you're not you're not well, but dang, this is professional. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, so <laughs> I end up reaching out to another accountant firm, accountant woman. And these are black women, by the way. Oh my god, why is it so dark? Oh, crap. So I end up reaching out to another accountant, and mind you, these are both black women, the first one and then the second one. And we get on a call and she asked me a bunch of questions and then I gave her access to my books and she looks at it. And she comes back to me, this is in November, end of November-ish. She comes back to me and she says, your book, uh, she, this is not verbatim. In, in essence, she's saying that my books were an absolute damn mess that a lot of my accounts weren't connected to QuickBooks the way that they should be. This lighting is getting on my nerves, the way that they should be. So they weren't connected. And I took a lot of foundation. Good God, I forget that this spreads. So I'm wiping some of the product off. Weren't connected and that a lot of stuff just wasn't done. She sent me this ginormous, elaborate spreadsheet with multiple tabs illustrating all that needed to be fixed. I wanted to throw the hell up. Then she proceeds to say, again, business owners take note. I, I, wow, I just I just don't understand. I really just don't understand. Then she proceeds, and you would think, how don't I know this? Well, I mean, I would look every now and again, but I trust that you're doing your job. I've been with you a year and a half at this point. Then she begins to say that, <laughs> They need to go back to friggin, this is the Fenty 445N concealer of anyone. They need to go back to, I think she said June or some crazy date that they had to go all the way back to fix things because up until that point, stuff wasn't right. And then my PayPal wasn't even linked the whole 2023, my business PayPal. Like, are you kidding me? So what were you and your bookkeepers doing all this time? Are you kidding? And we were having monthly meetings, by the way. What the hell was going on? And there was one time we had a meeting where I was like, hmm, I logged into my QuickBooks and I saw that there were 999 something, something, something. Uh, transactions not coded. That's so strange because before when I logged in, we were up to date. There weren't so many that were not coded. I did notice that one day. And I remember where I was too when she and I had the meeting. Oh, really? Oh, let me go take a look. I mean, I don't know what that means. And I'm like, yeah, take a look. Because I thought that was strange because we've been having monthly meetings and I've never seen that until now. And I remember it had me sign in 
on all my accounts all over again. I thought, what the heck is going on? The lighting outside is going in and out, so it's reflecting. Like and she said she would look into it, and she also said she would do a whole bunch of other things that she never ended up doing. And this was, I think that was, if I say, that was actually our last damn meeting. <sighs> okay. So when she said she had to go back to God knows when to go and fix things, I said, oh my goodness. I said, okay, well, what is this going to cost me? $4,000 that I had to pay immediately because, of course, I needed this to be done expeditiously. I didn't want to wait. And the year was about to end. I need my books to be accurate. I need my books to be right. Are you kidding me? Who wants to have tax issues? Not me. Oh, my God. So I paid her the $4,000 to go back and essentially do 2023 all over again, do all the bookkeeping all over again. And I'm just horrified. So she and her team, the new accounting company, she and her team, get me all set up mind you this is around christmas time just imagine the stress it's too much get me all set up and they go back and they do everything she took 30 days to go do everything we had our first meeting last month which is january and she's like well you know in our in our hmm, while we're doing everything there's actually a lot more issues and i'm like excuse me <laughs> what do you mean and thanks at that point i had already signed up with her so her fee was triple the fee that i was paying the previous accountant but I could already see how thorough she was. So then I'm like, is this a function of me just not paying you enough? Were you not qualified? Like, what the hell? Sometimes you really do got to pay more to get stuff done correctly. You feel what I'm saying? And the dude, let me just say it. I was paying the old accountant $350 a month. And then this new accountant is $1,000 a month, okay? So it's like... <laughs> Clearly, three fifty a month is not enough to get things done correctly. I mean, I, I just, I cannot attribute all of this to you being sick. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why couldn't you say anything? It's just so negligent. I'm just so irritated. And we would have good conversations, but I won't lie. There were times where I had to refer her, in a sense, on the freaking calls. Like, hey, I sent this and this, you know, to you and I, this hasn't been done. Just want to remind you. Oh, oh, and I won't lie. I felt like she was being passive aggressive sometimes because she's very calm and sweet, but people like that can also be passive aggressive because you're not going to confront me about anything, but you're just going to take your sweet damn time to do stuff sometimes and other things that are evidence of passive aggression. So I had my first meeting with a new accountant and we're going over everything and I'm just horrified, but I'm like, I'm just grateful that we're, we're getting up to date now. So she's like, okay, I need the copy of your last two years tax returns. I'm like, okay, I, I need to contact this new accountant because I don't recall her sending it to me. And admittedly, I didn't ask her for it. And I'm, I looked at my email and I'm like, mm, that's not my email. Okay, let me ask her for, because again, I haven't, mind you, remember last year, the closing documents that she was supposed to give me, she never did. And then she also wasn't responding to my emails. I had emailed her a few times since summertime until December and she never responded. And I'm thinking, is she even checking her email? Is she okay? Because because I would go from anger to compassion. Like, okay, is she in the hospital? What's going on with her? But then I'm like, but you still should be able to respond. You still should have someone checking your email. I mean, what is going on here? You can just leave your clients hanging like that. Who the hell does that? So I was waffling between anger and compassion. Okay, so I had the meeting and she's like, we need those 20, the last two years tax returns. And I'm okay, I'll, I'll reach out to her again. And I never heard back from her. So then today at 7.30 a.m., this is what started the whole snowball for me. Today at 7.30 a.m., I get a message from my new accountant to contact her because she was trying to access the IRS website to get my information. And she told me that when she logged into my IRS gov account, that there was no trace of taxes filed for the past two years. And I can tell this now because, like I said, I spent an hour hyperventilating and crying. Because when she called me this morning, all I could do was pause. And I was getting ready to come work out. And I, I was just like speechless. And I'm like, what? What are you saying? And I literally felt the tears, but I had to put it back down because I needed a clarity. Uh, so she said, yeah, I logged in and she sent me a copy of what she found. And there's no evidence of taxes being filed for the past two years. And I've been with this lady for two years. Well, 2021 20, and 22. And I'm like, oh my God. So I said, that cannot be. Does it even show that I paid? Because I know I had to pay both years. And she's like, I see the payments, but you have a credit. So it was credited to my account, but there was no taxes filed, at least from what she could see. And I'm like, oh my God. I said, am I going to be in trouble now? What does that mean? And she said, 
Uh, no, no, because you have a credit. So no one is just paying money into their IRS account just for funsies. So clearly you thought that you were paying your taxes. But try to reach out to the lady. You do need to get a copy of something that will show that she did, in fact, file your taxes. And maybe there's an error. We don't know. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I call the number that I have for the old accountant because she doesn't respond to me via email and didn't respond via text any other time. And uh, I call it the phone the, the phone box. How do you say it? The mailbox is full. And I'm like, oh, my God. So she put me in touch with a financial, what do you call it? Financials. What do you call it? Financial planner. Excuse me. It's just a lot on my mind right now. So I reached out to the financial planner. A very financial planner? Yeah. And I'm like, hey, do you have a current number for so-and-so? And she's like, yeah. And I said, okay, because I need it. I need to contact her. And she gave it to me. And it was a different number for the one I had. So I'm like, okay, maybe that other number is no longer in service. So I messaged that number. Good morning. Can you give me a call? It's urgent. And then I said, you know, let me call her. Mind you, it was it was 8 a.m. And I'm thinking, I don't know if she's awake. I don't know what it is. But I said, you know what? This is so damn urgent. I'm going to freaking call her. Because I had sent the message in an hour. And by I said, okay, it's been an hour. She should be awake by now. Let me just call her. I don't know if she's, if she, I, I feel like she's avoided me. But I'm like, I don't know if she'll avoid me today. But this is urgent for me. Because you've screwed me over. You have really screwed me the hell over. So I call. And no one answers. And I leave a message. Hey, this is Minna. I need X, Y, and Z. Can you call me back? Or can you just email it to me? Because at this, at this point, I'm not even interested in railing you, raking you over the coal about how you screw me over. I'm more interested in getting what I need from you and going to sit the hell down. So that's why I said, can you call me back? Because I need X, Y, and Z. Or can you just email me X, Y, and Z? Because I need that information ASAP. Because you And I did say, you never sent me X, Y, and Z from the summertime, and I do need those things. So I hung up. Maybe 30 minutes or something like that. I don't remember. Later, I get a call from that number, and I'm like, oh, God, she's calling me. Great, great. You know? So I answer the phone, and then she sounds like she was sleeping. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Were you asleep? And she's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I thought to myself, should I, like, what should I do right now? Because, again, you told me you were really, 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 really sick. But then I said, you know what? I haven't even been able to get in contact with her for ages. I, I need to get what I need right now. So I was like, okay, well, did you hear my message? And she's like, no. And I said, okay, well, I'll just tell you what I said. So I told her what I said. I said, I have a new accountant. And according to her, there's no record of taxes being filed for 21 and 22. And then she needs this form to show that taxes were filed for 21 and 22. And she was quiet. And I said, you did file for 21 and 22, right? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And she always talks soft like that anyway. So that wasn't odd. It's just she sounded like she was sleeping. And I'm like, okay, because she went on to my site and says that there's no record of it being filed. So can you send me my 2122 tax return? And also, can you send me this form that will show that this was filed? And I heard her cooking around or doing something. And she sounded like she was looking for something. And I'm like, yeah, because I really do need that. Because right now I'm in a bind. And I just left it like that. Again, I, I, I just couldn't see myself going in on someone that is terribly sick. It just sounded, I can't remember what she said, but it sounded like her sickness is really bad. So she's clicking, clicking, clicking around. Oh, no, yeah, I did file. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look and yeah, I'll send it to you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. Because yes, I do need that immediately because I'm in a bind right now. And I left it at that. And then I said, okay, yeah, please email me that today. And then we hung up. I just left it. I said, there's no need for me to, like I said, break her over the coal. What, what's done is done. She's, she screwed me over and it just is what it is. So hours go by and uh, I haven't heard from her in literally maybe 20 minutes ago. I said, let me circle back and close the loop. So I sent her a text message to the number that she had called me from. And I said, just uh, thank you for taking my call earlier today. Just, uh, I want to make sure that I didn't miss any email from you. I'm waiting on the tax return from 21 and 22 and also the form that shows that you did file my taxes electronically. And I haven't heard back from her yet, but it's like, yo, are you insane? So that happened, right? This morning. And like I said, I held back my tears because I was so frustrated. And then I get the, the schedule for New York Fashion Week that completely derails everything I had planned which was very upsetting because I know that I needed to be flexible. I know that this is just how it is, but I don't function well in circumstances like this. Perhaps if the tax situation didn't compound the pre-existing issues 
with Fashion Week, I wouldn't have had a breakdown. But then I had to think, no, at 7.30 this morning, when I got that message and I had to call my accountant, I felt the tears coming and I just shoved it down. So when that happened, and then I had to change my flight two days prior and just everything being thrown for a wrench now, I'm like, am I even ready? It's just, there's so much. Then I had I had content I needed to do, and then I have a contractor coming because there's a crack in the ceiling and there's a leak stain. So he's like, we gotta check and see if there's a leak in the in this in the roof or the attic or whatever the hell. And I oh my god. So I'm like, and I have to get ready to go to have lunch with Anita. So I'm like, oh, I cannot deal with all this stuff right now. So I messaged him and I haven't even heard from him yet. I asked him if he can come tomorrow because I cannot do that. When I get back home, I need to film content. I just, everything is being snowballed and it was too freaking much. My skin looks good, by the way. Bless the name of the Lord. So I just bawled and bawled and bawled. And I'm like, what is happening to me right now? Am I having a, I don't, I don't know the definitions of freaking attacks and stuff you know panic and whatever i don't freaking know all i know is i was breathing heavily and, and, and this doesn't happen to me often i was breathing heavily and i just could not stop crying it was too damn much and this is not the fault of my team this is not because they said everything is so last minute we can't control it just try to be patient all the stuff so i get all that it's just oh my god it was just too much if if they if this had happened if maybe if this were two days apart I wouldn't have responded the way that I did, but it was just too damn much for me today. Okay. So that happened. And now I'm scrambling because like I said, I need to get ready to go have lunch with my child, which I will never forfeit no matter what you feel. Like that's always a priority to me. And then when I come back, like I said, like I need to go buy some more paint. I mentioned this to you in a... In a a previous vlog I feel where I said have the color of your walls have that paint color around so you can do touch-ups and I'm gonna do touch-ups because they're just needed in a few places including the freaking <laughs> the ceiling above where I had the fire pit because I didn't really I didn't realize that I needed to freaking which makes so much sense I just no one told me and I did not think about that so FYI, if you have a fire pit in your house, I didn't recognize that I needed to wash out or rinse out the fire pit between sessions because the alcohol leaves soot inside of the fire pit. So then when I go to burn it, not only is it burning fire, but it's freaking burning soot. And I didn't realize it was gathering on the ceiling right above where I would burn the actual fire pit. And then I see a soot stain above where I burn a candle every day right on the ledge in my kitchen there's a soot stain up there so I'm just gonna get the paint that matches the walls and just get up and paint it paint the wall like that's easy peasy so it's just like that that just needs to be done and then like I said the contractor I hope he was flexible to come tomorrow he better not show up I cannot I just cannot tolerate that right now <laughs> oh my god you know and it's just it's just too many daggone things I love the new Judas Place blush it's over there that joint is freaking good. I would have loved to use that today, but I'm not about to go over there and get that. Let's just use this. This is good too. This is my Dennis and Myra's OG, 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 OG. So, you know, uh, very, very overwhelming morning to say the least, okay? God is still faithful. Yes, I've been praying while I took the blush too close to my inner eye. I don't know what I was... I wasn't thinking, I was talking, I wasn't thinking. Okay, let's bring some of this contour in because what, this light in the back of me is acting so, it's, you know, so natural lighting, the sun outside is messing up. So let's bring the contour back because wow, <laughs> there's a lot of blush. And yeah, uh, so that's what's going on right now. Man, it's just, it's, it's so crazy. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for every opportunity. Being at New York Fashion Week, I know it's going to be a huge blessing for me. I need to be there, I want to be there. I'm, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm speaking to myself, I'm speaking to myself and to you, and to Jesus. I'm grateful for every and all opportunities. I, I, I pray to be even more, I pray to be, to take flexibility with more ease. I pray and bind every spirit of every spirit of confusion i pray and bind every spirit of overwhelm of stress in jesus name i pray that this will be an opportunity that catapults me into absolute abundance all for god's glory i pray that 
it will be full of laughs, joy, and elevation in the name of Jesus. I really do. I also pray that all of these other things that are troubling me will be ironed out in Jesus' name. I have to give it all to God, and I know that. And I give it all to you, Lord. I had my moment to cry because I just had to get it out. Just had to get that out. But I thank God that in spite of it all, he's still working. Notwithstanding the chaos, God is still working. Ooh, this eyebrow is wild. I'm going to fix that. Notwithstanding the chaos, God is still working. And I'm just so grateful, man. I just, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. So that's what's going on right now. Let me finish my makeup. I'm doing my everyday look. And then get out of here. Yo, it's me being in the car and needing to sign a contract. Well, an NDA to be to be clear. But yo, can you just imagine? It just it never ends, and I'm just so bye 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 bye. Right, is that my signature? And then uh, let's see. I add the text for my name. Okay, I gotta do it this way because my nails, yo. Oh, oh don't remove. Hold on, hold hold on. I'm coming. Oh, I already have a signature. <laughs> I need to do that. I didn't even know that that was a possibility. Uh oh. I didn't know it was a possibility to have a signature saved in the phone like that. Mm, praise the Lord. Yeah, so, so many moving parts. I, you know, growing up, you know, you would see someone who just always looks so booked and busy and just so important. <laughs> Not that I consider myself important. I'm just saying, I can only imagine that when people see me, they probably think, oh, she probably got a lot of business going on. And it's just so true. It's like, what? So many emails to attend to. Thankfully, the content that was due today got pushed. Thank God. Because I had a lot of time anyway. I didn't realize I had so much time. So it got, who's at my front door? Bless God. Look at all this. Yo, the packages don't stop. So the packages don't stop. So ooh, 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 ooh. I'm typing. I'm not drawing right now. So yeah, I have to, I have I have time and space to breathe. I do have one thing due Monday. I'm gonna just do that and get it out of the way, edit it, and be done with that. Let's see. Today is the what is today's date? Thank you. Have a great day, Nina. I know the day started bad, but I know God is gonna give you a better end of the day for sure. I believe it. Amen. Thank you. Ah, that was so helpful. It was so helpful to just get on the phone because a lot of this was text slack whatever so this was helpful let me run in the store and get my paint and go home i feel so sleepy the way i was crying i feel a heaviness on my forehead i'm gonna go home and order some i don't know what i want to eat what, what's like a good comfort food that is still this is the thing that kills it what's a comfort food that is still keto because <laughs> i get my oxtails but it comes with this rice that i can't Ooh, i have rice at do i have rice at home is it finished i made some rice but i, I froze it i'm gonna thaw it out yeah i want some good look my mouth is literally watering i want some good onions to go with it i don't feel like making it i don't want to make anything but it just sometimes you just want something that's just gonna be so good okay maybe i'll order that or whatever i'll figure it out okay let me go get my paint and come back out here and do the lord's work on my ceilings in the name of jesus watch the car okay praise the lord Watch the car. Thank you so much. They gonna look at me like, where is she going? I didn't know that you have to go to the specific paint store where you got the paint. <clears throat> well, that is true. I'm not forsaken. I'm never alone. The God of heaven calls me his own. My, my, my. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, and I got some packages too. Oh, I have my shoes on for that. Outside sandals. Yo. <laughs> packages don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. I said, don't stop. 
That is not how the song goes. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough. Uh -uh. God. Oh, we got some delicious food. Yeah. I don't always want to do dishes, so we're going to go ahead and do a little plastic. We ain't got time for this. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. The cocktail going for the girls. <laughs> we got some. I almost said Dose Keys. Why am I thinking about Dose Keys? I have no idea. Casamigos. I was thinking of tequila. We got some Casamigos. Blanco. And we got the skinny mixes. Strawberry margarita, key lime, what? Strawberry key lime margarita. Mm -hmm. Five calories. Mix. Throw that in there. And we got ourselves a margarita on the rocks, baby. Cheers. <laughs> It's seasoned so well. I used fried rice seasoning. It's literally called fried rice seasoning. I used jollof rice seasoning. It's literally called jollof rice seasoning. And then I used garlic powder. And then I put beef seasoning. My lippy is still on. If you notice, I'm not licking my lips. Just, what am I going to do with it do right now? My plate is huge. <laughs> That's a lot. Ah. This is a low carb rice, so it don't be feeling so heavy. Thank God. It don't. It doesn't. It doesn't feel the same way that white rice would in my stomach. Yo, it is so dark in here because it's so cloudy outside. But I need a gloss to put on my lips, just for. Or should I? Let me look at them. Because yes, I did some licking just in the middle. Hold on. I, I need. I have two mirrors over there. I need one closer here. I just need to touch on my lip because I can see that I licked off even the, even the the primer so it just feels uncomfortable you may not notice it but i can see the dark spots on my lips the pigmentation on my lips so i just want to put a gloss on top of it to take care of that while i keep this face on or oh wait okay next butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie let's do this oh hi let's do next this is brand new it's hard to turn things with these long nails let's do this because it has color to it and let's see what you're gonna give me Ooh, this is very light. Hold on. They had the intense butter glosses back in the day. And then they would discontinue to now just the just the butter glosses. Why'd y'all do that? I loved the intense ones because I like for the gloss to have a high level of pigment. Hello. No scent to it. Okay. Nice and light. And it makes the lip pop. And then just because I want to take away some of the shine on my face, I'm going to use this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. And my trusted Sephora 59 brush, it diffuses right into the, I did take some off on the back of my hand, <laughs> it diffuses right into the skin. Uh, what I was saying last time is I always get these USPS boxes that I order in bulk for free from the post office. And I just put away, put things in here that I'm, I know I'm, I'm not going to keep. Still do my random giveaways to so make sure that you are interacting genuinely and naturally and and you could possibly win. If you live internationally, you do need to have a US forwarding address, okay? And it's random. What do you need to do to win? Engage naturally. What does that mean? Like and comment on all socials. And I'll let you know. You've been selected. Okay, change of plans. This just came through. I have to make a, look at all this because I'm getting ready. I have to make a minor edit for a piece of content and I can do that right now. And I'm gonna do this and then submit it. What? That's one of the benefits that I enjoy of editing my own stuff because a lot of times the edits or we re, 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 re edits, okay, I mean, I'm gonna make it complicated. A lot of times the edits are quick and because I can do it and I do it on my own. It's just, granted, my editor is fantastic and she's quick too, but if I can do it without having to ask her and wait and all this stuff, why not? It just makes my life easier. Okay, I just sat down because what in the whole world? Let's open these up. You got sound? Okay, my check one, two, one, two, my check one, two, one, two. But I don't know about him. Naturium, be taking care of the girl. Susan Yara, I see what you're doing. I really do see what you is doing. You see my suitcases and stuff over there? Okay. Oh, the Phyto Glow Lip Mask. We got another one of those. Another one. Thank you. Oh, we got a lip glass. Ooh, ooh, lip mask. Excuse me. A transparent lip balm, petal colored lip balm, and a jam colored lip balm. 
So here the three are. I'm going to give this one away because I don't wear dark lippies. They don't look flattering on me. It's just not my thing. But I'm going to keep these other ones. Nurturium, thank you so much. I love their multi-oil glow line because I love the body wash. I love the freaking body butter. Oh, I have the body wash on subscribe and save. And the body butter, I couldn't get it on subscribe and save. And then it sold out because it's so freaking good. When it comes back in stock, I'm definitely going to get it because it's Jones Road. Let's see what they're sending me. Welcome to the Jones Road family. Thank you. Makeup. Look at this bag. This is unique. Let's see. I've gotten stuff from them in the past. Okay, we have... Listen, I be keeping all the lip glosses, balms, because you can never have too many. One thing I don't do is dry anything, especially lips, all right? So we got a cool lip gloss. Definitely gonna keep that. Always need, we always need a lip gloss, lip balm. I call everything chapstick, although I know it's not chapstick. So I'm taking the <laughs> Naturium lip balms out of the packaging. Let's look at how pink or not pink this is lightly it probably goes on more transparent than anything i'm gonna keep that for cheesy what we got mascara okay we're gonna try this out let's take a look at this jones road mascara oh nice big wand hopefully that translates to something fantastic we're gonna find that out berry moa a blush called Berry Moore. Wow, this is so tiny. Ah, okay, this is way too cool and light cool. I'm gonna donate this because I already know, I mean, it might show on me a little, but not enough to keep it for myself. Let's see what this is. Ooh, I love a good brush, honey. Gosh, I have so many brushes. This is cute. Oh, it's upside down. This is cute. Thank you, Jones Road. Oh, inky list. Did I, I got, when, I, when I did the opening but that uh, didn't record or whatever, it didn't have any sound, I did, oh, I already, okay, so I got two of these. This is the Bioactive Ceramide Repair and Plumping Moisturizer. Okay, I love a good moisturizer, so I'm not giving that away. <laughs> like, what? You can't ever have too many moisturizers, what? Especially when you have mature, dehydrated skin. You have to keep your foot on the neck of the moisturizer. The moisturizer neck. Oh, yes, yeah. Who's this? This looks like it was a personal send. Let's see. I just that hair just itched my lip. Oh, I'm like, why does this look so personal? Oh, okay, okay. So one of you, it might be you. You know, man. Yvette, thank you so much. I remember she did message me and tell me and tell me and told me that she has two of my favorite lip primers. I'm not sure if these were extras or that she doesn't use it. And she was like, I'm going to send it to you. And I was like, sure, I'll take it. Like what? They're brand new. Obviously not used. That is so good. Girl, thank you. That is my favorite. I love that. Oh. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Retinol from First Aid Beauty. I've worked with them many times in the past. They've got a retinol complex serum. That looks good. Ooh, retinol eye cream. I cannot wait to use that. So retinol is a very strong ingredient. And if it's formulated for the eye, it's obviously safe for the eye. But you don't ever want to put a retinol that is for the face on the eye. It's going to be way too strong. You won't have the worst breakout ever. Reaction, stinging, all kind of stuff. All right. Here we are. Oh, I cannot wait for Ready to Love. It's not Ready to Love Houston. Which one is this? Ready to Love Dallas? Where are they? Whatever. Ready to Love to come on because these people are cool. Topicals! Okay, I see what you're doing for others. Topicals. Not trying to go on a Ghana and not inviting a Ghanaian. Maybe you did. I don't know. But you didn't invite me. Why y'all doing that? Like, I don't get it. Like, come on. Bring me to my country. You feel me? <laughs> I'm so excited. Topicals, hi. Listen, I got my lips off. I got my uh, ingrown hair, ingrown hair serum. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. it's, in the, it's in there. Ooh, what they sending me? What they sending the girl? Oh, and I, oh, 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 and I also have my exfoliating serum. 
what's it called? It's called, it's not called sal slather. Mm -hmm. Sal is the lippy, slather is the body. So did you send me another slather? Oh, you sent me another armpit thing. Okay, <laughs> here it is. This is the ingrown hair serum. Right? Ingrown tonic. Girl, I be doing my own stuff when I'm when I be saying these things. I say it how I remember it. And how I remember it was ingrown hair serum. It's the same thing. Ingrown hair tonic serum, you feel me? It's a deodorant. Deodorant like product. Okay. And it's to combat ingrown hairs. It's got salicylic acid, glycolic acid. So AHA, BHA, niacinamide to lighten dark spots, zinc PCA, not sure what that does. Either way, this is so freaking good to attack the bacteria that is inside the ingrown hairs, which means that it's going to suck the ingrown hair dry. But while it's doing that, it's going to kill all the bacteria under your armpits, which cause odor as well. And... Consequently, you're not gonna have any odor, honey. Okay, this is some good stuff. Praise the Lord. Oh, and this is slather. Okay, I have another slather, girl. I love me some slather, honey. Put this on every other night in the evening time or twice a week, whenever your heart desires. Evening time, because you don't want to go directly into the sunlight with a product like this. It's got retinol. Okay, resurfaces the skin cells it just melts off the dead skin cells smooths the skin evens the skin out then we got lactic acid i believe that does some of the same thing urea squalane gives hydration this is some good stuff thank you tabaco that is so cute i'm gonna keep this bubble wrap to use in other when i send pr oh i love me some topical honey they've been sending me stuff and that lip stuff i don't care what y'all saying i love how rich it is it's not sticky on me it's just the perfect thing it's so occlusive it don't go nowhere it don't go nowhere <laughs> double negative it don't go nowhere naked sundays there's a new mineral in the low gang what Ooh. is that a great right, english there's a new mineral yeah i read that there's a new mineral what is Naked Sundays? That's a brand? Oh, wait, what? This is a brand called Naked Sundays? There's a new mineral. Okay, so you sent me bronze tint. All right, we have pearl tint, which is not gonna work, to silver. Illuminating tint, to gold, maybe. And then we have bronze tint with SPF 50, mineral glow serum drops, huh? Okay, shake well. So let's. Okay, they got a little bowl or something in here to help with the shaky shake. It's so dark outside. It's about to rain. My, my, my. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's it's making a huge mess. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me take a little bit. This is very light. It looks very light. Hold on. Oh, this is messy. Ah, okay. It could work. It's very subtle. Granted, I only took a little bit. I could do some more. I could probably do some more. Is it waterproof? Transfer proof? Apply liberally every 80 minutes. Okay, so it's an SPF that, ooh, this is a mess. It's an SPF that also gives a glow. Okay, this reminds me of Super Goop. I just made a mess. Why? why? All I did was shake it. Why are you doing that? You're annoying. Super Goop has a glow screen. I mean, this looks a little bit ashy. Not terribly. You can't tell. You can't tell. I mean, yeah, it looks too ashy for my liking. Okay, well, thank you. Can I say thank you to Topicals? Thank you, Naked Sundays, for the gift. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are worthy of our praise. Worthy of our praise. You're worthy. Make. Oh, yeah. You know, I was so perplexed by this brand when I first received PR from them. Because I'm like, it's called Make? Are they sure that's the name? But it's true. And their lippies are so juicy and pigmented. So now they've got reflective eyeshadows. So here's how it all looks. And we've got eyeshadows. <laughs> we've got reflective eyeshadows. All right, here's the shade Onyx. This is Quartz. Purple Haze, Stardust, Glaze, Glaze, not to be confused with Glaze. And we got two brushes. Oh no, a brush and a pencil. Ooh, this is so, this is so heavy. Wow. Ooh, this is the perfect, wow, it's so sturdy. It's so firm. 
Wow, this is perfect to go right here. It's so for this is so heavy. Wow, quality, quality. What's this? Ooh, this is a nice brush to pat under here with a setting powder or even to pat under here with concealer. Ooh, lovely. This is heavy too. Wow, this is really nice. Come on, make. Yo, unassuming. I love it. Thank you so much, make. Obaji Medical. I got some products. This is the eyebrow boosting, whoa, eyebrow boosting serum. Can I put this over my microblader? <laughs> Apply nightly after cleansing skin. Hold the wand horizontally. Thank you, Obaji. Oh, they gave me a, a headband for the face washing. I'm sleepy. I'm gonna wind down and open some more boxes tomorrow. Cause I even have Amazon stuff over there. I can't even deal. Just not.